Hi, I'm Tiffany and this is Towering TBR. So I put in an order to a book outlet uh, a couple of weeks ago and I know I ordered 20 books, but I can only remember two of them because one of them I've already read and the other I just happened to remember. So I'm going to kind of rediscover as I unbox the books that I bought. I will try to tell you whatever I know about them or why I decided to buy them. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. My goodness. Okay. Yes. So the first one I see is The New Wilderness by Diane Cook. This is, I think, a family drama story that was getting quite a lot of praise last year or maybe two years ago. And it's a hardback that was on sale for $6. So I thought, you know what? I'll give this a try. Okay. Then I got, oh, How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu. This is one I remembered I ordered because I have already read this and I loved it. I think I gave it four or four and a half stars, but it is interconnected short stories about a fictional pandemic. And a lot of the themes just really resonated with me. And I thought I will want to reread this at some point. So I purchased it. <laughs> just realized this is large print edition. So uh, yeah, the text is quite big, but that's okay. That's probably better for my eyes anyway. Then I picked up Interference by Sue Burke. This was me breaking one of my rules. I typically don't pick a second or third in a series until I've at least read the first one, but since this is a duology and I already owned the first one, I thought, eh, why not? It's science fiction and it's got a lot of praise, so I'll eventually get to it. The Island of Missing Trees by Elif Shafak. This was on, I can't remember if it was the Women's Prize or the Booker Prize, but it was also recently shortlisted and I've heard lots of good stuff about it. Additionally, it was a hardback for $6, so I thought might as well give her a try. The Library of the Dead by T.L. Uchu. I don't remember hardly anything about this, but my library does not own a copy and it is a book I somehow got interested in. So I was like, well, I'll buy it since my library didn't have it. Cool. A Traveler at the Gates of Wisdom by John Boyne. I've read two John Boyne books so far and loved both of them. Um, I remember this got a bit of hype a few years ago because um, he apparently ref like looked up ways to dye materials with like natural means and he, he apparently found the information for a video game and he included that in the text unintentionally. So I thought you know what, I'll give this a try. Plus my library didn't have this one either. The When the Lights Go Out by Kara Bray. I've heard a lot about this book from my uh, British booktubers that I tend to watch and it's a climate fiction change book. And I thought, you know what, that, that sounds good. I'll give it a try. And then I also got another paint by stickers. If you saw one of my vlogs, I actually took the time to um, actually fill one of these out on camera while I was listening to an audiobook. They're a ton of fun. Um, but yeah, some of the pieces are so small you need like tweezers to access it. But uh, yeah, I got this a book of, at Book Outlet for not very much. So that was the first of the two boxes. Okay. 
The Love Songs of W.E.B. W. Du Bois. Um, I put this in one of my uh, videos lately that this has gotten a lot of hype. And even though it is a 800 page plus book, I still wanted to read it. And I found it on sale for a very good price. I thought, yep, let's get it. It's a chunker though. Poppy Show by Le Leonie Rice. Ross. <laughs> Leonie Ross. This is another um, women's prize shortlisted or longlisted book that uh, has a different title in the, U at the U.S. to the U.K. Um, but yeah, this was looked interesting to me and it's gotten a ton of praise from the people who've read it. So basically people influence me and I'll buy it. <laughs> I also picked up The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is a the first in a trilogy that I've heard a lot of people compare to the movie Knives Out. And, uh, yeah, there's some sort of game to get the inheritance, but there's... I don't know. It just sounded interesting, so I thought I'll give it a go. I got Piranesi. So many people have praised it and said that it you just have to go in knowing nothing. Um, but I'm just never in the right mood to read it, and it's always checked out at my library. So I thought I'll I'll pick it up and give it a try at some point. Um, do not like the sticker that's on there, but hopefully I can get that off. Passports, a graphic memoir by Sophia Glock. I I liked the shades, and it was also a really good deal for a graphic book. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I think it was eight. I think this was the most expensive book in the pile. Um, but yeah, I love graphic memoirs, and getting one that was pretty inexpensive, I was like, yep. I'll do that, please. <laughs> All right. I also picked up His Only Wife, another sticker, goodness, I don't like that, by Peace Adzo Midi. Um, this is set in Ghana, and I don't know, I, I like some literary fiction books that are set in Africa, so I thought maybe this one would work for me as well. Replay by Ken Grimwood. This, I think, is a book that employs the trope of, um, like, Groundhog's Day, like, reliving your life. I think that's what the replay references. But other than that, I don't know any more about it, other than that's the trope it has. And Emily from Books with Emily Fox um, really, really liked it and said that this was the best version of the trope she'd seen so far. And... I thought, yeah, I'll try that. John Scalzi's Red Shirts. So I think I'm going to really like this. I, I'm i not really a Star Trek fan, but I have watched it enough that I'm hoping I'll be able to get, like, the references in the books. Or in the book. And, uh, yeah, I have been wanting to try John Scalzi for a really long time. He's a very popular sci-fi author. I thought that this one sounded... A lot of people say it's funny, and I love funny books, so I'm going to give it a try. Just a few more. <laughs> uh, Razorblade Tears by S.A. Crosby. This is supposed to be a hard-hitting drama about two gay men who I think are murdered, and their parents, or their, their fathers team up to try and figure out who murdered them but like it it's I don't know it's supposed to be about like the fathers accepting that their sons were gay and I don't know but everybody that I've seen talk about this raves about it so I thought eh, uh this sounds like one to add to my pile The Majesties by Tiffany Tsao this is such a beautiful book. Um, this actually has really low ratings on Goodreads, if I remember right. I think it's about 
Let me look. Oh yeah, it's about a woman in a coma and she is the only one to survive a mass poisoning. And we're trying to figure out what happened. Like, I think it's her sister that poisoned her. And so they, like, look back at their relationship to f find out what happened to make her want to kill all these people. So, I don't know. I just thought it sounded like an interesting thriller with more of a literary side. So... I also picked up Sorrow and Bliss by Meg Mason. This is another of the women's um, long list or short list, I can't remember. But I've heard that this is just like a really like heartfelt family story and that it is sad, but I don't know, it just sounded good. So I thought, why not? And the last book I got, was Olga Dies Dreaming by, I cannot see the full name because there's another sticker on this book, but, oh, well, I'm not gonna know how to pronounce that. Um, my sister actually recently read this and it got me interested in, in finding out what this was about. I don't actually know any more than that, so not that helpful, but, it looked good, so I decided to pick it up. So those are all of the books that I bought from Book Outlet. I am not sure how people feel about hauls. Like, does it feel show-offy or is it like a good thing? So you can be like, oh, I see you picked up Piranesi. You have to pick that up. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. And if you have read any of these books, let me know what you think about them. Or if there's a book you really want my opinion on, let me know so I can prioritize it. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.